A very good afternoon, everybody, and happy Thursday. I hope your day is going well today. Thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and TravelProfessionalNews.com, I want to welcome all of you to today's webinar, and thank you again for taking time out of your day to join us. Our host today is Scenic Luxury Cruises and Tours, which is part of the Scenic Group. And our speaker is Tom Van Dorn, Business Development Manager Midwest for Scenic and Emerald Waterways. Tom is a Chicago native and 30-year veteran of the travel industry with an extensive background in airline, tour operator, and river cruise sales management. Joining Scenic over three years ago as business development manager, Midwest, Tom covers several states from his home office in the Chicago area. While his travels have taken him to many wonderful destinations over the years, Tom says that nothing tops a European river cruise, which combines the very best that Europe's historic cities and villages have to offer with the easy, laid-back pace of cruising along the world's most famous rivers in style. Tom's topic today is Why Scenic Luxury Cruises and Tours, and I know that by the end of this webinar, we'll all have a really good idea about why. Before we get started, please remember that you are all muted, but we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. At the end of Tom's presentation, we'll get to as many questions as we can. So let's get right to all of this exciting information about Scenic. Welcome, Tom. Well, thank you very much, Sandy. I appreciate it. And thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I know you're busy, and I know you have a lot of other things you could be doing. And what I try to do with this presentation, as I've done before, I jam-packed it. I try to put myself in your position and, and thought of what would I want to know if I were watching this. So I have a lot of slides. Uh, I couldn't run any videos, but I'm going to speak to as much of the product as I can possibly uh, cover. Uh, and again, I'll be happy to take your questions at the end of this. And what uh, when she was reading my bio and it mentioned that there's nothing better than a river cruise, I hope some of you have been on one. And if you have not, I hope you do soon and you'll clearly know why everybody finds uh, river cruising uh, such a wonderful thing to do. And as you probably know, it's kind of like an evolution of ocean cruises. People have done all the oceans and they look for something different. So if your clients uh, have not done one, please don't hesitate to recommend them. I can assure you that they'll love them. Uh, number one, I, as I'm going through the slides now, I'll just go right, cut right to the chase. Uh, you are our partners and we, believe me, I've been in business a long time. We truly value what you do for us. Uh, and in fact, if a client goes to our website to book, they cannot. Uh, if they call us to make a reservation, we browbeat them to try to find out who their agent is. And if they say they don't have one, they're not going to get one. Do you want to take the booking? Under those circumstances, of course, we would take it. But I can tell you honestly, uh, you are our bread and butter. We truly value working with you and your support. Uh, Scenic is a little over a 30-year-old company now. That's Glenn Maroney. He's the owner of Scenic. He's an Australian. So we're an Australian-based company. And just so you know, as you probably already do, uh, clients really find uh, the Aussies and the Kiwis, the people from New Zealand on Scenic's uh, ships, are really a great selling feature. They're fantastic. Uh, Scenic, uh, star, the Scenic, the parent company, is on seven continents. It's a huge, huge organization. Um, and then the river cruising part started in 2008. Uh, Glenn owns all the ships, and I'll talk about the ships in a minute, but he owns them all. The only one he cannot own is the one in Russia because he cannot fully own a ship in Russia. But other than that, he owns them all. Um, we upgraded everything in 2012 has been brought up to the 2013 level and beyond. So you really don't need to be worried about if you're on an older ship or a newer ship because ours are basically almost 95, 98% the same. Emerald Waterways then, which I'll touch on in a minute, you see that I'm on the slide too. They're part of the Scenic Group, along with Scenic Luxury River Cruises and Tours, uh, the Scenic Eclipse, which I'll cover in this too a little bit, and Emerald Waterways. And I'll talk a, briefly about Emerald Waterways going through here. Scenic is, uh, both brands are definitely an award-winning uh, company. In fact, uh, Scenic just recently won it for the best new re re uh, refurbished ships. Prior to that, it won for the best excursions. Emerald Waterways just won the Cruise Critic Award for the three year, for three years in a row as the best value of any river cruise company. After winning it the first year it was introduced in 2014, it won it uh, for the best new river ships. It's the only river cruise line that's won a Cruise Critic Award all four years. Emerald is, by the way. So I'll continue on. This uh, chart is on our website. If you'd like to go to it, I'll talk about our website a little bit later. But this is a very nice comparison uh, sheet that I think will, you'll find helpful. Lists uh, competitors along the left over here. 
And as you'll see, Scenic goes all the way across with the checks. And keep in mind, too, that everybody can use the words all-inclusive, but of course it means different things to different people. But with Scenic, we are uniquely all-inclusive. And please, if you don't remember anything I'm telling you today other than this, it's that Scenic is completely 100% all-inclusive. In fact, we don't even ask for a credit card when clients get on the ship when they board because there's nothing they can pay for. The only thing a client can spend money on would be a gift shop item, a spa treatment, a haircut, something like that. But everything else, uh, all liquor, top shelf liquor, um, uh, all excursions, uh, butlers, uh, complimentary laundry, you name it. I'll go through all those things in a minute, but absolutely everything is included. I, I put this slide up here just to kind of give you some, uh, give uh, Scenic a little credibility if you're not that familiar with this. And by the way, if you're not that familiar with Scenic, please don't feel funny or alone. Uh, we've only been in the U.S. roughly four years. Uh, and so because of that, we're still working our way through trying to become preferred with the different consortia. We are not yet except with Westa on the West Coast, but I can assure you we're very much working on that. We're talking to Virtuoso Signature Ensemble, you name it, travel leaders, we're talking to all of them. And I can tell you without exception that the agents who have been on Scenic or have clients on us absolutely find it a fantastic product. In fact, I can tell you in my territory, which is 10 states, I've had roughly 30 agents uh, at different times on FAMS or independently uh, sailing on us. And they all come back telling me the same thing when I ask them what they thought. They said that Scenic is unique. It is in a different league than anybody else. And they all had different reasons for it, whether it's the food, just the little touches. Scenic's, uh, uh, the experience on Scenic is very much like a Four Seasons hotel. And so if you like that level of service, that is very much like Scenic is. And absolutely clients love it. So I put that... Uh, a National Geographic slide there, just again, because they are our partner. They selected Scenic, uh, so we've got a number of sailings with them, and on those sailings, we've got a lecturer from them, and some have a photographer, etc. So if you've got some, you know, followers and uh, diehards with National Geographic, please keep us in mind for that reason. Now, getting in a little bit about the product, uh, I'll talk, go right through all of this. Uh, Scenic, again, we've got 15 ships. We're all over the Rhine, the Mine, the Danube. We're all over France as well. Uh, we're in Southeast Asia and, as well. And uh, of course, as I mentioned, Russia, we're in Portugal. So we pretty much do it all. And the ships are comprised of eight are on the Rhine mine and Danube. And incidentally, the ships, as you can see down here, they basically hold uh, 44, those in the, in the, in the Mekong, et cetera, in Irrawaddy. But on the Rhine mine and Danube, the ships basically hold 169 people. The crew to guest ratio is one to three. Uh, but then we've also got the ships in France, one in Portugal, in the Douro, in Russia, Vietnam, that's the Mekong, we've got one, I'll cover these a little bit later, and one on the Irrawaddy as well. And incidentally, the ships on the Rhine Mine and Danube are roughly 443 feet uh, long by 40 feet wide. And this is why they can't be any larger. In fact, Glenn, uh, the owner of the company, he's a true entrepreneur. I mean, it's a fascinating story how he did this, but he built Scenic from absolutely nothing. And he's the first person to actually make the ships this size. So you don't find anything larger than this when it comes to the width and the height because of the locks and bridges. Our ships are three decks. The jewel deck's the lowest deck, and I'll talk about the cabins, et cetera, in a minute. The sapphire deck is the, uh, the middle deck. And keep in mind, this is a big pillar of Scenic, too. We have full two full decks on every ship. It's the sapphire and the diamond deck of real balconies. And I'll show pictures of those too. We don't have French balconies, balconies at all. They're scenic sun lounges and, and they're fantastic. And then of course you have the scenic sun deck up on top. And as I mentioned earlier, if you don't remember anything else, just remember that scenic is uniquely all inclusive. You don't need to read all of this slide, but I will cover these things. All of our ships, by the way, except the one in Russia, which is a little bit different because it's there. Uh, they're all called spaceships, and it's basically because of the way they're designed. Glenn's wife, Karen, is the interior designer. And between the two of them, they knew from the beginning this was going to be a five-star luxury product. And the way they're designed, the cabins and the public spaces, they're basically larger than everybody else's. The cabins themselves are larger. I'll show you those a little bit later. The public spaces are larger, floor to ceiling glass and windows. Just a very, very nice feeling. Butlers are included, complimentary beverages all day. I'll talk about the dining as we go through here. All excursions, it doesn't matter whether they're the special one that we charter that are over the top, absolutely all the excursions are included as well. Tipping, gratuities, port charges, you name it, it's included. So I'll talk about being on board. 
The ships are stunning. Let me put it that way. And keep in mind, because this is an Australian-based company, nothing is stuffy about this. I'm sure you're familiar with how the Aussies are. No worries, mate. She'll be right. A gentleman might want to wear a sport coat for some of the nicer uh, dinners or some of the nicer excursions. And the ladies would like to wear a nicer dress from time to time. But no ties. It's generally casual. And uh, people love it. You can see this this Marcolini marble throughout the reception area. Over here, this white marble and commissioned artwork throughout on the newer ships. Uh, absolutely stunning. The crew is fantastic. The crew is primarily Eastern European. Of course, they all speak fluent English, and they're great. So this is pretty much the main, the hub of the ship, the Panorama Lounge. As you can see, it's floor to ceiling glass on both sides. And these are real bartenders, by the way. They absolutely do know how to make a drink. And incidentally, when it comes to the, the liquor on board, uh, again, we've had a lot of great agent specialists who have been on everybody, all of our competitors. And one came back one day and told me, did you know, Tom, that your liquor list, this might have been an exaggeration, but she said, did you know your liquor list is at least five times longer than anybody else's? It is. It, that might be an exaggeration, but I can tell you it's a very high end. And only when you get to some 150-year-old bottle of champagne or some, you know, really high-end premium liqueur uh, would it be extra. We have those, but all the rest is included. This is where most of the people on the uh, Panorama Lounge spend their time. Of course, it can hold everybody. It's really, they're really beautiful. Now, talk about dining. Uh, crystal dining is our main dining room, and we have a lot of different choices and ways to dine. Uh, the crystal dining is the main dining room. It's again, it's very airy. People walk in whenever they like, starting about six o'clock, sit whatever you like, uh, with whomever you, whatever you, whomever you like. And if this was breakfast in the morning, this would be a huge buffet. And I'm telling you, a huge buffet. This, this end here would be filled with the freshly baked croissants and breads, et cetera. The gentleman here will make any kind of egg creation you would like. There's also a menu on the table for French toast, pancakes, and a client can just get up and help themselves to as much as anything that they want. It's Like I said, it's very much about the client, very much like you would imagine a Four Seasons would be. People absolutely love it. And then dinner, it's a four-course meal, or lunch, I should say. It's also a buffet, but that food is geared uh, more toward the country that you're in. So it could be Hungarian, German, whatever. But again, I get compliments about the food all the time. It's marvelous. And even at dinner, which is a four-course meal, there's always a staple menu as well if people wanted beef or chicken or something like that. But it's a four-course meal, but we don't come around with just a red or a white wine. We pull a cart with six reds, six whites. They're all regional. They're over the top. They're fantastic. And I can assure you, as I mentioned earlier, we're all over France. And if you think the wine and the Rhine, the wine and the Rhine wine and Danube is great, I'm telling you, it's really over the top in France. Again, nothing, please keep this in mind too, write this down. Nothing about scenic is second rate at all. Nothing. It's it's just top shelf. No one's got anything like this. And incidentally, I've been all over a Anama ship. I've been all over a Uniworld ship, a Viking ship. And uh, I can tell you, if you've been on our cruises yourself, you probably know they're fantastic. And all of our competitors, I think, are great, too. There's nothing to not like about a river cruise. But keep this in mind, not all river cruises are the same at all. And it's not what you pay to get on that matters. It's what you pay to get off. And because everything with Scenic is completely included, that means something like 90% of our clients get off the ship without an invoice. And believe me, the clients love that because, you know, you know, they don't have to have a debate with the husband and wife or Harry, do you really need that extra drink or do we really want to do this excursion? They don't have to make those choices. Everything's included. Tipping too. That's fantastic. This river cafe is open in the morning from six in the morning till six in the evening. It's fantastic. So if people don't want to go to the main dining room, they can come in in the morning. There's uh, croissants, freshly baked breads, etc. Then from about 10 on, it's a, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, soups, salads, wraps, there's a gelato station, a healthy station, a tea station, a uh, pizza menu, there's burgers. And even if your client doesn't want to eat something here, they can just ask for a picnic box and we'll be happy to make that and they can take that off the ship and eat wherever they like. Just a couple other shots of the uh, River Cafe and the ship just to kind of give you a sense of how really cool they are. And Portobello's, this is open to everybody on the ship. It's our Italian restaurant. It's called Le More in France. It only holds about 30 people. Uh, the client can make a reservation on the ship. It's a five course meal, five wine pairing, truly over the top. Everybody absolutely loves it. And again, uh, everybody gets a chance to do that. And Table de Rive, 
this is one of the only things that I can think of that's unique to the diamond guests on the diamond deck or the top suites, uh, the junior suites on the sapphire deck. And that's because it only holds 10 guests. It's a separate area of the uh, main dining room. It's like the chef's table. And it's a six course meal, six wine pairings. And I'm telling you, it takes almost two hours. People absolutely love it. They just, it's one of the highlights of their sailing with us. Scenic culinaire is something we started this year. Uh, it's uh, basically a free choice. Clients can decide to do it if they want to. It's like a little cooking school where we've installed a, like a little cooking emporium, an onboard camera where you can watch what the chef's doing. He's got special ingredients, it's set for fresh ingredients. We built, as you can see here, a, a cheese and wine cellar. Just a really cool thing in France, southern France and Bordeaux. And of course, if the weather permits, we'll do a really nice spread up on the sun deck. And again, it's if you've never done a river cruise, you, you'll easily see why your clients love them. And I put this butler here because we also have 24-7 room service, and it's over the top. We've got a really nice menu, uh, burgers, other things too. And if people want to, they can just have a kind of a limited selection off the main main menu as well. Now getting into the onboard accommodations into the cabins. Uh, all cabins, doesn't matter where you are on the ship, have the mini bar. The mini bar is stocked daily, it's stocked with whatever your client would like. So if they want a particular beer, wine, soft drinks, it's there. Uh, there's also the walking stick and umbrella, which people comment about. And Loxitan products, everybody loves those as well. And now getting into the, uh, the suites themselves. This is the standard suite. This is the lowest deck, the jewel deck. And because it's water level, that's the only reason we don't have a balcony there. We've got this window up here. But these are, as you can see, these are considerably larger than our competitors, 160 to 172 square feet. On the Rhine, Mine, and Danube, they're 160. Um, and I'm telling you, the way they're lined, the way they're uh, laid out, the way the cabinets work, the closets work, they're, they're very, very nice. And now we're moving up a little bit to the sapphire deck, the middle deck. And of course, this is probably where most of the clients you would book would be sailing. As you can see, considerably large, 205 to 225 square feet. We've got some also on the diamond deck. Uh, again, ironing, this, some, as you start moving up, uh, things, uh, little bits and pieces are added to their uh, what they can do. And I, I want to talk about this sun lounge here because the, we have two full decks, as I mentioned, of real balconies. And they're called scenic sun lounges. So if you were sitting in here, you'd see these panes of glass that would be closed. So nothing would be obstructing your view. And you would get up, open these panes of glass like an accordion. It's pretty cool. And then you step outside onto the balcony. But before you step outside, there's a button on the wall over here that will allow you to raise this outside double pane window up or down. And because each cabin is individually climate controlled, you can leave this. If it's not raining or too cold, you can leave this window up or down any way you like. You could sit out here. If somebody's in here snoring, you can close the panes of glass and just sit out in your sun lounge. They're, they're stunning. And now moving up a little bit again in size, the junior suites are 250 square feet. Uh, again, as you keep moving up, uh, little different things are added like ironing for two pieces of uh, laundry per day. After dinner, canapes are brought to the room, etc. And of course, the space is nice. These are my favorite, the royal suites. You can see they're 315 to 510 square feet. So we're really getting up there now and the re reason i really like this one as you can see it's got the tub and believe me people love these but nothing's compromised you also have the uh, the walk-in shower etc and the reason i have a few pictures by the way of the bathrooms in here is because when i do these presentations live everybody loves the bathrooms and even you can't see it of course but even in the shower there's a mood light where your clients can change the color of the mood light to suit their mood you know, different ways. So, so many little touches are the reason that people tell me agents have come back and said, you guys are not like anybody else at all. And then this is the uh, the top of the line on the Rhine, Mine, and Danube, the Royal Panorama Suite. On the newer ships, the Opal, Jasper, and Amber, these are 475 square feet. Of course, the balcony, uh, the Sun Lounge is a little bit bigger. But as you can see from this picture, it, which doesn't do them really justice, uh, they're gorgeous. We offer complimentary laundry. For all cabins, doesn't matter where you are on the ship, we do the, do it at least once on a sailing, and your client can choose to have that done whenever they want to. So if they have a pre-tour, they can have it done right away if they want to, or just wait and have it done any day they want to. We give them a bag. It costs a little over two pounds per cabin. 
And then butler services, all cabins, as I mentioned, come with a butler, and it's not as if the guy's standing outside the door all the time. They do do double duty, but I can tell you, too, that it, for the people, some of your clients who say, I don't need a butler, I, I'm not used to a butler, believe me, it'll take them about a half a day to get used to the butler, and they will love it. You can imagine wanting uh, something like a Bailey's and cream or something at 10 o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning. You just call your butler and they're there. They're fantastic. The services that they provide are graduated depending where you are on the ship at the, at the lowest deck, the jewel deck. There's uh, concierge services, ordering tickets, that kind of thing. Shoe shining, of course. And then as you move up into the ship, there's an onboard credit for the wellness center, for this wellness center or a spa private uh, chauffeur uh, transfers as well, pre-dinner canopies, after-dinner suites are brought to the cabin. Just a lot of little bells and whistles that you know clients absolutely love. Just as, as a shot of being set up with your uh, canopies up on the uh, diamond deck. And the Wellness Center, I'm telling you, this is one place that we don't have enough space, enough people to do everybody, so this is one area they could spend their money, but it's fantastic. Fantastic. People love it. And we, have as I mentioned, everything is state of the art with scenic. Even so is the uh, gym equipment in the fitness center. The newer ships have seven pieces. Uh, just really, really nice stuff. We've included this new, uh, just this year, the uh, salt rooms on our uh, sailings in Bordeaux and southern France, just to give your clients a really, really nice way to just feel refreshed. Uh, something that, and I've heard great feedback. Onboard entertainment, I won't spend a lot of time on it, but believe me, as I mentioned, it's it's everything with Scenic is really good. We, we take great care to make sure that nothing is not uh, to the way it should be. We'll bring on board, uh, we've got our own onboard entertainer who you know can play practically anything, will entertain throughout the nights. But then we also do, you know, the Hungarian folk dancers, umpa bands, but a lot of different things too that uh, I couldn't even describe, you know, classes, dance classes, that kind of thing that people really love then they, they just take the whole thing in as scenic is just a top shelf company. The Vitality Pool is on the newer ships. It's kind of smaller, but it does have the, it's a Vitality Pool because it's got the wave built into it. So your clients can actually feel like they're getting some exercise. And, and all the time I've been in the business, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen or done. Uh, these scenic e-bikes, they're e-bikes because they're electric assisted. We have 30 on board every ship on the Rhine, Mine, and Danube. They work like a regular bike. We have this size and the 36 inch, a little bigger one. But you see this little thing here, this uh, little box, that's a silent motor. So your client can uh, start pedaling and if they start getting tired or going up a hill, they just put that motor on and when they start doing pedaling with that on, they can tell it's easier. And when they keep moving it up a notch, it's like they're not even pedaling. I took this on this incredible excursion, which I would certainly recommend to your clients. It's a 20 mile between Dernstein and Melk in each direction. It's fan I wouldn't have done it without that uh, e-bike, but I took these and this was in uh, October going through vineyards. Uh, it's basically flat because you're going along the river, but it's a piece of cake with that thing. And, you know, we rarely, I, I don't think we ever run out of electric bikes. And if we do, we can always get more regular bikes as well. Right up there in, in coolness when it comes to something unique with Scenic is this tailor-made device. No one's got anything like this. This tailor-made device, as you can see, it's got over 720 points of interest programmed into it and over 240 tours. It looks like an iPhone, but what's neat about it, you know the whisper piece that you put in your ear on a tour? Well, that's what this is. There are two in a docking station in every cabin, so every single client gets one. And if you have that piece in your ear and you're sailing, you could be sitting on your balcony or look, sitting up on the sun deck like this, as you sail past something like a castle or a fortress or anything, it will. you don't need to do anything. It will just tell you what you're looking at. And there's a button on it. You can punch in history, culture, cuisine, currency, story of Beethoven, story of Lorelei, anything you want to do. And also, it's got the uh, city tours program into it, the walking tours. So you can look at it, punch in the one you want. There's usually a selection of three or four. The map pops up just like a Siri, just like an iPhone. It knows where you are because it's GPS triggered, just like an iPhone. And you just start walking, following along. It knows where you are, and it will just tell you anything you want to know about wherever you are. Plus, it'll help you get back to the ship. Really a cool thing. Scenic sundowners, this is, we do this at least once on a sailing uh, where we once will find a beautiful place like the Augstein Castle here or a beautiful vineyard and just have a, a toast to celebrate it with a drink of your choosing, uh, just kind of cementing the friendships that you make on board. People absolutely love that. 
Incidentally, we've got 16 brand spanking new state-of-the-art luxury coaches with Scenic. Your clients always have the same driver. They're, I'm telling you, they're, they're top of the line. They're gorgeous. Uh, and they travel along with us on the Rhine, Mine, and Danube. Now, this is another big pillar with Scenic too. One was all-inclusiveness. This is another one, real balconies, no French balconies. Now this one too, uh, the Scenic Free Choice. Those are the excursions. And again, everything is included. But what's really cool about it is we offer two to five per port. And, there, and so at 6 p.m. On, on, uh, on, on board, the cruise director will give a little talk. He'll outline the options, the choices, I should say, that your clients will have for the next day. It could be shopping with a chef. We do that in many of many of the main cities. These are ones that, these are limited, by the way. So if you've got clients interested in doing this, when you fill out our trip personalizer on the website with their booking, make sure you grab that space because you'll definitely want to do it. It's actually our chef going around doing doing the shopping. There's also a free choice. These are just a few examples, a city tour, a really nice city tour of Budapest. And incidentally, even a city tour with us, it could include something really neat, like a 45-minute organ or piano concert. We've got all the tickets. Your clients will never be waiting in line for anything, just like a Four Seasons. It's, it's the way it's supposed to be when you're talking about a luxury product, and we are definitely that. Or you, your clients can do in Vienna the uh, Spanish Riding School. They can either watch them train or go behind the scenes and see the Lipizzaner Stallions uh, do their exercises. Or you can spend a full day going to Chesky Krumlov in the Czech Republic, which I would highly recommend if you haven't done it or your clients haven't done it. Of course, that includes a full uh, lunch with wine, etc. Or they can opt for the uh, full day to Salzburg and see Mozart's home, etc. Or they can stay local and do the Benedictine Abbey, which again, I, none of these things are incredible. I mean, they're all incredible. Nothing is to be missed. This is one of the most opulent uh, palaces you'll find. Or a city uh, canal tour in Amsterdam. And now, scenic and rich. These are something that your clients cannot buy. These are things we charter. These are events we charter. Uh, we negotiate with royalty or with the governments, etc. But I'm telling you, they will make one of your client's sailings. I had the pleasure of doing on the Gems of the Danube, going to the Palais Lichtenstein. And if you're not familiar with the Palais Lichtenstein, it's got the second largest art collection in the world after the Queen. So it's open every day, of course, like a museum. But on the evening we go, and again, it's just 169 of us. This is one of the occasions when we might want to get a little bit dolled up. We get in one of our coaches. We go to the Pele Lichtenstein. It's just us. We walk in, have a really nice champagne reception, browse around for about 40 minutes, uh, taking in all the incredible sights, the artwork, etc., And then sit down for an hour of a fantastic uh, Mozart and Strauss uh, concert with, a, a, I think it's a 10-piece chamber orchestra, two ballet dancers, two opera singers. Nothing about it is, uh, is, is not first rate. I mean, it's fantastic. Or you can mention, imagine going to the uh, Pope's Palace in Avignon, these incredible facilities. And again, it's just 169 of us going in there for entertainment, some kind of a meal, etc., or the uh, Sound of Music, the Best of Sound of Music uh, in Salzburg show. Uh, really neat things. And again, they're included. So again, you don't, your clients will never be reaching into their pocket. This is uh, that concert I was mentioning to you, just a couple shots of it to show you how opulent the place is and really over the top. And now just, I'm not going to go into a lot of the sailings that we have. You probably know as much about those if you're selling these. Uh, but these are a couple that are really cool and a little bit unique to us. It is Normandy and the Gems of Danube. We've got an 11 day from Paris that goes to Normandy. And beginning next year, we've added an eight day, which I think will be very, very popular. But what's different about this most of our competitors, they all start in Paris, and they will sail on their way to Normandy, but they all have to disembark. Not all, I think most, definitely most. They would have your clients disembark in Rouen and then take a two-hour-plus coach ride here. Well, as you can imagine, a lot of elderly people like doing this because they want to go to Normandy, et cetera, et cetera. But we built a smaller ship, the Gem, the Scenic Gem, and it's specifically built to navigate past Rouen all the way to Honfleur which is an absolutely charming city, by the way, and it saves over an hour coach ride in each direction. So, and I'm telling you, that ship is holds 128 people. The largest cabins are 445 square feet. Agents who have been on it and have had clients on absolutely rave about it. They love it. Also, this is unique uh, with Portugal, doing the Douro River. And by the way, this is extremely popular. Sometimes we don't even include our specials on Portugal because they sell very, very well. It's a smaller ship. Our ship in Portugal holds 96 people. Excuse me, but this is what's unique. All the other companies in Portugal, their ships are built and owned by the company that builds the ships. 
Lars is built there, there too, but the difference is that scenic Glenn owns our ship completely and people don't know how he did it but he told me one day no one would have put up the fight the money the time involved but he didn't want anybody controlling his ship so because he does it looks different than the others all the others look identical except cosmetically and they all do the same excursions uh because they have to because they don't own the ship but because because glenn owns his our ship is completely different we built our own docks we come and go when we want to we're actually including the koa valley which is world known for its uh Paleolithic artwork, rock uh, cave art, and of course it goes on into Salamanca. A fantastic sailing. So if you're sailing, so if you're looking at people doing Portugal, please keep us in mind for that. Southeast Asia. This is something we just started last year, and Tanya, everybody who's done these, every agent has told me categorically, it doesn't matter what other cruise line you're talking about. This is a whole new level of luxury. These ships are award-winning ships. This is the scenic spirit on the Mekong. It holds only 68 people 68 uh, people total um, and just a few shots of it these they're all full bedroom single bedroom full balcony suites as you can see it's asian but yet contemporary as well this ship even has a steam sauna built into it because you need that in vietnam that was a joke i know you can't and but look at the size of these cabins they start at 344 i believe then they go up to 430 square feet and then look at this 861 square feet on a ship that holds only 68 people. You can't see it out here, but there's a 300 square foot deck with a jacuzzi. I mean, really, truly over the top. So if you've got people looking to do Southeast Asia and they tell me, give me the biggest, give me the best, give me the all-inclusive, that would definitely, without question, be scenic. And also the truth is for the Irrawaddy in Myanmar, this too is all single, full bedroom, private uh, bedroom area. Full balcony suites, holds only 44 people, 22 cabins, so it's little. But even look at this, I think the smallest one is 290 square feet, then it goes up to 344 square feet, and then it caps out at 753. And again, here's that deck out there, and this has a jacuzzi over here too. So it's just absolutely stunning. Um, and now what's new in 2018? We've added beginning next month, uh, we're doing Egypt and Jordan. And this is an exclusive charter, and if you've got anybody interested in that, I'm telling you, this is going to be with the Sanctuary Sunboat 3, an absolutely stunning ship that we're working with. I didn't want to put too many images in here, but take a look. This, here's the pool deck, and I just put another one of the lower sun deck. And we've got a couple four-day of sailings on the Nile with a lot of other activities. Here's 11-day treasures of Egypt, uh, the sailing on the Nile, and you can see where it goes, Cairo, Giza and then a 10 day with Jordan as well. And all of this is on the website too, so I don't wanna to spend too much time on it, but I just wanna make sure you are aware that we do that part of the world beginning now. And if you haven't uh, introduced your, been introduced yet to the scenic eclipse, I'm telling you, uh, this is one of, going to be one of the coolest things sailing. It actually begins sailing next uh, August, this coming August 31st, August 31st of 2018. It's being built as we speak, and I'm telling you, this is a six-star plus luxury ship. I'll tell you a little about it as we're going through this. It's going to sail pretty much all over the world. It's going to start with a 15-day sailing in the Mediterranean. It's going to do Europe, of course. It'll do the British Isles in detail. It's going to go up and do Iceland and Greenland, go across. It will do the both Arctic regions, of course. It'll do Cuba in detail. It'll do the Panama Canal area and also come down to South America and, of course, Antarctica. And I'm telling you, if you've got people who are looking to do this in a luxurious way, any of these, this thing will blow you away. I've got, I put some slides. Incidentally, I don't want to forget to mention, please do yourselves a favor because I know you'll love seeing this. If you go to our website, and I'll talk about that in a minute, and go to the scenic website and click on ocean cruises, you'll that's the only thing we have is the scenic eclipse. You'll find a six and a half minute video there of this uh, incredible ship. It'll show you, it shows you the helicopter landing in Antarctica with emperor penguins walking around it. It'll show the submarine going down, looking at shipwrecks, etc. So it's got two seven passenger helicopters, the seven passenger submarine, a custom built fleet of 14 Zodiacs and kayaks, some pictures of the ship. Here's the main lounge elements that's our main uh, dining room the chef's table yeah. as you can see and when you get your hands on the brochure go to our website coco's is our asian fusion uh, 
dining. We have 10 restaurants on board, eight bars. Lumiere, this is our French cuisine restaurant. Azure Grill, this is uh, basically uh, all day eating, a grill. The Epicure, that's our uh, emporium, our cooking emporium. People will absolutely love that. And the Yacht Club, grilled fairs around the pool, fair around the pool. And getting into the suites a little bit, look at this, they start, they're all private veranda suites. This is the smallest, 345, they go up to 430 square feet. As you can see, this, this is stunning. And I wish I could really do the pictures for you justice, but I had to crop them a little bit to get on here. The spa suites, as you can see, they're getting pretty big now. And keep it, this ship, I didn't mention, it holds only 228 people. On the Arctic sailings, in Antarctic and the Arctic region, they hold only 200 because of the restrictions that we have. So it's a small ship, 228 people, 10 restaurants, eight bars, a 6,000, nearly 6,000 square foot spa and Pilates studio. As I mentioned, the two helicopters, the submarine, a 240 seat theater in the round, the spa suites here. Then the panorama suites, look at this, 1184 to 1238. Shot of one of the, the bathrooms. And look at this, the owner's penthouse suite. We're not finished yet either. This one gets up to 2,099 square feet. I had to put this picture in two pieces. And then if you're combining this with one of the spa suites, the owner penthouse double bedroom penthouse suite is a total of 2,659 square feet. Absolutely stunning. So I just, I put these on here. Again, the spa, 20, uh, 5,920 square feet. It's a spa sanctuary. There's plunge pools, indoor, outdoor pool a 240-seat theater in the round for all onboard entertainment. And again, everything is included, as you can imagine, just like Scenic. The only thing that would be extra would be the uh, helicopter, the submarine, and the scuba diving equipment. And those rates are still being finalized, but they're not, they're not you know, crazy at all. And of course, I'm sure there'll be a waiting list. So getting into, um, I don't want to keep my eye on the clock here a little bit, uh, the agent portals. And these are, I'm mentioning both brands now. Uh, if you have not visited our site, please do so. We've got a lot of great information on there, scenicusa.com. Uh, if you just go to that part of it, Scenic U, it'll bring you to the main site. And then up in the upper left in this area over here, you'll see the words agent portal. If you click on that, it'll bring you to all kinds of things. We're right now in the process, by the way, just so you know, of updating our scenic specialist courses. Uh, we, Emerald's got one too. We're in the process of updating those courses for you. And I think it's just going to be a matter of days, matter of a week or so before they're back online. I just took it yesterday. Look, I thought it was great. Please do that. Please, if you have not become a scenic specialist, please do so. If you make, when you make your first booking after passing the course, if you make your first booking within six months, you'll get an extra $200 booking bonus, $100 per person. Uh, Emerald is very similar. If you pass the Emerald one, it's a different course, of course, but also great information. And you make a booking within six months, you'll get $100 extra booking bonus for that. But also, I know a lot of you are from all over the country on this webinar, so please go to the site under the agent portal. You'll see for business development manager, you'll be able to find who your, uh, your local salesperson is, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to work with you and answer any questions you might have. Um, just a lot of great information. That chart that I showed you earlier, the uh, comparison chart is on there as well. You can print that. A lot of 360 uh, views, videos, etc. So again, please familiarize it, yourself with it. The express book. Uh, if you, you also, when you're on that page, by the way, there's a registration. So if your agency is not registered with us, please have the manager or, or somebody, a team leader, or whomever, register with us. It's very simple. Your IATA number, ju just basic information, and then we email your office back that person back your uh, login and username. That then can be shared with the other people in the office and we can add their name to, to the registration, your profile with us. And that will get you access, that username and password to the Express Book. And that is fantastic. That's our online booking engine. And it's very intuitive. It's very simple to use, all these specials. And we believe me, I'll talk about specials very briefly in a moment, but they populate automatically. You can email your clients quotes directly from Express book, which is a very easy thing to do. You can check availability right there when you've got clients. Everything is live. So everything that you would need basically as far as making a booking, checking availability, rates, all that kind of thing is on the express book. So please familiarize yourself with that and we can help you with that too. If you, After everything else I've told you, please make a note of this. 
we definitely, and I mean definitely, want to work with you on your groups. We do a ton of groups. We've got an awesome group department, uh, both Emerald and Scenic. Great people. They're, they're, they really know their stuff. And keep in mind, a group with us is only five cabins. Um, we right now, I don't have a slide on it, but we were just now with Scenic, we're introducing a new uh, point system, depending on the sailing that uh, you're depending on the sailing and when they're doing it, you're, you, would, you would be given a different number of uh, amenity points that you can then apply to your sailing. It could be added commission, it could be chocolates. It could, in other words, you can tailor make your group uh, to the, your own client, to the group that you're having with us. So it's, it's more relevant to what you would want to do. But again, please keep us in mind for your groups. Uh, we want them, we're hungry. We, I wouldn't, I shouldn't maybe put it this way, but we wheel and deal. We, we want your business. So if you've got a group out there, please just email us, email your media, uh, your business development manager. Let us know what you've got and we can start getting the ball rolling in the right direction. And, um, Charters as well. We do a lot of charters, both sole uh, charters, uh, as, as pretty much as they are wet lease. Uh, again, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but if you've got uh, a, a larger group, then you might want to take over the ship. Or you're looking at somebody on the, the Mekong with 68 people or the Irrawaddy, only 44. You might you might have clients, whether they're incentives or affinity groups, etc., that might want to consider chartering. So by all means, we do that. And we do that very, very well in conjunction with our uh, teams overseas. So please keep us in mind for that. This is something we started last year, the River Cruising Guarantee, and this is a very important thing. It's in our brochure and it's included in the price of a sailing. It's the first of its kind. It's really meant to give your clients peace of mind uh, regarding things that could uh, be unforeseen that could disrupt their sailing, like water level issues, which you probably are aware uh, can be high or low and you know disrupt the sailing considerably. Or it, they, this does not include terrorist activities, but it does include mechanical breakdowns or strikes, that kind of thing. And as you know, it can really it can really wreck a vacation, to put it bluntly. So we want your client to know up front, and they don't have to spend any money, that should that happen, should anything disrupt their sailing, we will refund the portion that they couldn't do back in the form of payment that they paid us. So if they paid us in cash or they paid us with credit card, we don't submit them a voucher. We don't send them a voucher for a future sailing. Sometimes, as you know, some people, that's the last thing they want to do. And another thing that we don't do, and I've heard a lot of horror stories with com other competitors, is that we don't try to force your clients to jump through hoops to bear with us to try, as we try to thread the needle to make something work. I've been with the company you know, going on three and a half years, and I can honestly tell you, you know, I'm a straight shooter. I'm from the Midwest. We try to make things right. We look at all sides of an issue. And we don't try to nickel and dime anybody at all. We try to make your client and you happy with the result of getting things fixed. So I can just tell you that categorically. And this is just an easy way to just let your clients know up front that this is unique. Uh, deposit protection plan, we take a $500 non-refundable deposit um, uh, within a couple of uh, days of the booking. Full payments due at 90 days out. But this deposit protection plan is designed to give, again, give your clients a little bit of peace of mind if they're not quite sure, but they want to hold space, et cetera. For 125 per person, they can basically hold that and it gives them time to decide if they want to do it, change it, decide, uh, you know, change dates, change itineraries, et cetera, within a year. The documents are the real McCoy. Uh, they each, both brands, we come with a, they, we send you a backpack for each of the client, the two backpacks. Uh, they are paper, obviously paper documents, and people really do use these backpacks. We just upgraded the backpacks, by the way, and they're a very handy thing to have on a river cruise. And your clients, I'm telling you, and you, when you see them, will truly appreciate them. And it t definitely lets your client know, and I think you too, that we value their money, we value their support, we value that they're, they, chose us. And I put this slide together too. This is something that's brand new as of uh, right now, uh, that we've got a booking incentive in place for, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, I know you can't read this slide in detail, but from now, continuing through the rest of this month, through March 31st, uh, we've got fantastic specials that uh, you're, we'd love to have your clients take advantage of, whether they're air credits, upgrades, fly free, depending on you know what your client wants to do. I would just encourage you to either go online or call reservations. Uh, they know all this stuff. They're very, very helpful. But the one thing I want to mention to you too is the booking incentive. This is brand new. So if you make a scenic booking for 2018, for this year, 
uh, and you make it by the end of this month, you'll get a $100 booking bonus for that booking. If you make a scenic eclipse booking, again, this month, by the end of March for uh, 2018, you'll get $150 booking bonus. And as you can imagine, I know we're kind of not too far from the end of the month, but if you've got a few of those, that's considerable uh, change. So I certainly hope you can do it. And then Emerald, we've also got a special uh, for your clients that runs through the end of the month with Emerald. And uh, all I want to tell you with Emerald, because I don't want to take your time, and I know this is basically a scenic presentation, in a nutshell, the difference between scenic and Emerald is that scenic, as I've mentioned a number of times, is uniquely all-inclusive with everything. Five-star luxury brand, and that's how we brand it. Uh, and Emerald, on the other hand, we brand that as a four-star plus uh, deluxe brand. It's, to me, in my my opinion, it's equally five-star when it comes to the food, the ships, the service. I mean, they're stunning. It's just that Emerald is not as all-inclusive. Emerald is more like some of the other guys in that it's beer, wine, and soft drinks at lunch and dinner. Your clients can also buy additional drinks if they want to, and we have beverage packages, and one excursion per port, and they can add additional excursions to it if they want to. So in that sense, it's that's the difference, and it's roughly 25 30% lower in price than Scenic because it's not as all-inclusive. Incidentally, Scenic, very quickly, uh, as I mentioned, the crew to guest is one to three on most of the sailings. On the Duro, it's closer to one to two. On the Eclipse, it's about one-to-one. -one. And also on the Mekong and the Irrawaddy, that's almost one-to-one -one as well. Emerald, generally speaking, is about one-to-four. Emerald's got seven ships now, uh, the Rhine Mine in Danube, uh, Portugal, France as well. Uh, Southeast Asia, we're there too. So again, uh, Scenic is roughly baby boomers. I'd say 55, 60-ish is a kind of age bracket, although we keep getting younger people all the time. Emerald, on the other hand, is a little bit younger. It could be 45-ish on up. You probably know as well as I do. But just keep them both in mind. They're both, I can tell you, you can sell them extremely confidently. I'm just very fortunate myself that I, I'm with a company that I just don't get complaints about the service or anything like that. People absolutely love us. And I tell you, the one challenge I have is that we're not uh, preferred with the consortia. And I understand that. I, I don't think I've ever worked for a company that is not in the consortia. Scenic certainly gets it. Emerald certainly gets it. We're talking to all of them. And if any of you are on the boards of any of those consortia or have any input, we would truly love it if you would uh, help us in that regard. Uh, but again, if you can't find what you're looking for with your preferreds, uh, keep us in mind. As you probably know, the larger cabins sell down first with all the cruise lines. And there aren't that many of those to start with. So if you can't find what you're looking for, I personally, I'm not proud. I don't think any of my colleagues are. We'll take what you what the overflow. I, we just want you to give us a shot. Get your client on board. You get on board too. Incidentally, we have really good agent rates. Um, I don't have them right here in front of me, but generally speaking, uh, we're revising for 2018. So I don't know exactly what they are, but last year they were roughly uh, per cabin about $2,000, which includes tips and transfers. Those, uh, those also, by the way, per person, if you break it down, it's roughly about a thousand, less than a thousand per person for scenic, closer to a little bit under that for Emerald. That's for the Rhine Mine and Danube on an eight day. If you're looking at France and, the, and Portugal, et cetera, it's a little bit higher. So, you know, those rates will be coming out shortly. Just contact your uh, business development unit uh, uh, manager and they'll be happy to uh, give you those too. Anyway, I think I'm running out of time here. I just want to offer, open it up to questions and answers, but I just want to, again, thank you very, very much for your time this afternoon. Thank you so much, Tom, for all of that wonderful information. I learned a lot about Scenic, actually, and um, I'm thinking that everybody on this webinar has clients that they think are appropriate for Scenic. Um, just a, a quick question of mine before we get to the questions, of which we have many. Uh, the BDMs, um, I know we can find out who our BDM is on the agent portal. Is it the yeah. same person for Scenic and Emerald, or uh, is it different people? It let me think about that. It used to be different. I'm trying to think across the board. I believe all of them are the, I think we all do all of them now. We used to have some who only did one, but now I believe it's, I think they both do both. All okay. of them do both. Okay, great. And if we wanted to get an idea of um, the groups, how many, you know, what which uh, sailings have more or fewer amenity points, is there a place where we can just look at all of the dates and see what the group situation is for those dates? 
Well, I know your business development manager. We, I just got a flyer, so your business development manager can send that to you. We're, we're fine tweaking all that. So I, again, I, I don't mean to, to be deferring everything to the outside, but I know a flyer j did just come out recently detailing the uh, amenity points for a scenic. And Emerald's got the same thing, different one, but the same type of thing. And your business development manager can definitely send you that without question. Okay, great. And um, thing, before you go on, can I just yeah, mention one sure. thing? I you know, I was talking about the eclipse, and I, I just want to mention very, you know, the uh, the 228, uh, the world's first discovery yacht. It was just announced recently, if you didn't see it, that Glenn is having a second one built that will begin sailing in 2020. And that's a huge, big deal for us uh, because the first one is selling so well. So he knew he wanted to get another one. And those itineraries for the 2020 uh, dates will be made available starting coming out next month in April, too. Oh, fabulous. So I just want to mention that there will be another one, too. Okay, great. Um, so let's get to some of these questions. And I'll just tell you in advance that if we don't get to your question or if you think of something after the webinar is over, uh, do contact your business development manager via the – you can get the name of that person on the travel agent portal. Um, Tom, maybe you can go back to the slide that uh, lists the travel agent portal. Okay. Uh, so we have some more information about how to do that. And um, let's look at some of these questions. Um, does Scenic sail Alaska? I know the, the uh, eclipse no. is, is up there. No, we're not doing Alaska. OK. Um, on the scenic ships, is there any issue with storage space? One of our agents says uh, that uh, he has clients who always take two large bags per person. Is that a problem on these smaller ships? It's not a problem, but if, if I would basically answer it this way, to, uh, to let us know in advance, because it, I mean, there are restrictions. I, I don't know specifically what they are, because, of course, they're they, you know, the cabins aren't that big, so they, they, and it's not just for the luggage, but the same as would be true for a mobility scooters, that kind of thing. Um, if, if there's a concern that somebody might be packing heavy or have extra things, I would just need to refer you to reservations, and they can send you specific requirements that I think would alleviate that question or help that with that question. Okay, great. Uh, do any of these ships sail the Po River in Italy? Oh, River. No, they do not. Okay. And um, can you just repeat the um, the small restaurant, the 10-seat restaurant? Um, did you say that's available to diamond-level guests or and above, or is there more available? Yeah, the 10-seat, the, the, the chef's table, it's table to reeve. It's it's which is it, available to people who are booked on the diamond deck, the top deck, or the junior suites, which are the largest at the front of the ship on the sapphire deck. It holds only 10, I think sometimes 12, but uh, it's a chef's table. It, it, the clients make a reservation on the ship for that, and they'll get a reserva uh, an invitation and a small envelope on their bed the night before telling them what time to be there, et cetera, and it roughly takes about two hours. It's, it's a six-course, six-wine pairing. It, it's, it's fantastic. Is, is there anything more specific? Um, uh, not that I see. No, <laughs> on that particular question. Um, it's a great to be on the diamond deck, I can tell you yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Can you um, describe solo occupancy rates? Yeah, we, believe me, we know that this is a growing market. And uh, not to sound vague, but typically if, it's, if you're talking about a sailing during peak season, well, then it's 100% double, like it's with most of the others. If you get into shoulder season, then it's typically 50% is waived or in lower season, it's 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 waived completely. However, having said that, I can and I again, I, I all I can do is really because our everything is kind of inventory control, so, so to speak. We have a lot of solo traveler uh, specials. We have a lot of specials all the time. Sometimes they might last for one month and then are extended. Some might be further out, but solo travelers are definitely included in that category, and we have them. All the time. And I, I just couldn't specifically tell you the truth. I'm looking right now. I couldn't specifically tell you which months, which sailings are waived or 50%. But I can tell you a lot of them are. Okay. So I, I hope that helps a little bit. Yeah. Well, I think our agents can contact their 
BDM and get more information on that. One of our agents wants to know if any of the scenic ships is handicap accessible. And I know river boats in general are not um, particularly handicap accessible because they tie up to each other in port. Can you expand on that? Well, we, we do, we have one, basically one cabin on the ship in the Rhine mine and Danube that is, but, uh, but you're right. What you just said, it, handicapped, a wheelchair accessible is not, uh, people, unfortunately, river cruising is not really conducive to that for a lot of reasons, cobblestones, what you mentioned about the ships. We do have a, a, a handicapped accessible cabin, and but it's primarily the railings that you would find in an, an, another type of handicapped facility in the cabin and the space and the location of that cabin on the ship, you know, closer to the elevator, closer, easily, more easily accessible. But it, it's pretty much limited to that, to tell you the truth. Okay, um, we have time for a couple of more questions. Um, do any of the cabins hold more than two people, and what is the policy on children? The, the policy on children is 12 is the youngest, and uh, no the, is the answer to the other. The, no cabins hold more than two people. Okay, and uh, the, the uh, specialist course where you get a mm -hmm. bonus, does that bonus apply retroactively if you already made a booking on Scenic? Unfortunately, no, and believe me, I know that firsthand. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. No, if, if, it's, if they've already made the booking, any booking that was made prior, it is not made in that six-month period between the time they completed and passed the course, uh, it would not qualify. Okay, so it qualifies on bookings going forward from the, right. uh, from after the, the course. After they pass the course, if made within six months. Right. Well, we are just about out of time. Uh, we've had so much great information. Our um, host for today's webinar has been Scenic Luxury Cruises and Tours, and our wonderful speaker has been Tom Van Doren, Business Development Manager, Midwest. Tom, thank you so much. This has really been fantastic. Uh, it's been my pleasure. I hope to do it again. And uh, I thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And uh, we're here to help. Thank you. And I want to add my thanks again to our travel agents for um, attending this webinar. I know you got a lot out of it, as did I. And um, we're, we're looking for clients and groups <laughs> to go on Scenic now. So thank you so much. This is Sandy Elson saying thank you. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.